Hey guys, um, I love what I do. I love helping people. So I just um, commented on a post of a group that I follow, and I really wanted to talk about women who feel broken. Women who feel broken. I should have titled this video. Um, mm, 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 mm. man, oh man. So what I did was when I went through a like really, really low, low point in my life, I literally free fell like a, like a free fall. I fell backwards into the arms of God, higher source, whatever you want to call them, right? I literally just fell back. Like, there was <clears throat> there was nothing else I could do. I didn't have anything. I didn't have any resources. I didn't have any direction. All I had was me. Me. And I felt broken. It was just me and my two children. And sometimes you feel like you have nothing. Sometimes you come to a point in your life where you feel like you have absolutely nothing. Even though you may have family and people you can uh, fall back on but sometimes because of situations you cannot do that like in my situation me and my two children we were going through such a torment like it was just a the time was it was so tormenting guys that, um, like, I literally had no resources, and I could have moved in with my parents at the time, but I didn't want to do that because my boys and I needed to heal, and when you're in a position where you need to heal, you don't always want somebody in your face talking about, oh, honey, are you okay? What can I do for you? Do you guys want to go, you know, do such and such? Or, you know, like every five minutes all in your face when you don't feel good. You don't want anybody in your face when you're trying to heal. So you need your own space. It's imperative. And so because this is something that is needed you it's not something that is denied you know what I mean you will not be denied so um, just plug yourself in and lay it all out on the table all of your needs definitely when you're going through a situation where you just feel completely down and out or just broken like you think you can't be fixed or at least it's going to take a while um yeah like oh my gosh ladies um most of us are just built like diamonds right so when we're built that way we know what it's like to go through all of the changes in life you know all of the uh reshaping reshaping that's what it feels like feels like your life is being reshaped feels like you're going through some type of metamorphosis and it hurts it's extremely painful um but 
make, you know, make a list of things you need to do for yourself. Stick, you know, like, be very diligent about taking care of the things that are of utmost importance. Um, as a matter of fact, that's what you need to do is write down, like, what's going to help me through this? What has me feeling at my lowest? Is it that I don't have a place to stay? Is it that I don't have enough money? Is it that I don't have people on my side? And so you make a list of those things. And then before you decide what you're going to do about each of those things, you pray your heart out. Pray and pray and pray and pray. And sometimes your eyes will swell shut from the tears. But that's okay because that's what's needed. You sometimes you sometimes we are broken down before we're we are built completely back up anew. And that's exactly what will happen. That's exactly what will happen. And then from there Everything else is just faith. Everything else is just faith from there, you guys. That's it. Just faith. So after you, you know, state the things that you need to do, that's the very next step. Is knowing that these things are possible. You have to know. You have to trust in who you pray to, and you have to trust in yourself because guess what? That's how you were created. You were created to be, to overcome adversity. You weren't created to wilt away and not be successful. You were created to be successful and you will be successful. You will be successful. So you, you know, you pray, you, um, I'm sorry, you write down the things that you need to pray about and then you pray about those things because sometimes people feel, sometimes people feel a little like they didn't accomplish much if they happen to fall asleep when they prayed. So it helps to have it written down so that you will still feel like you know that you expressed yourself to the fullest extent possible um and pray some more when you wake up pray some more like don't stop praying the other thing that i had mentioned in that post in that comment was um attempt to connect every time you feel a low every time you feel low pray again or connect Find a way to plug yourself in. And then if you aim to remember to plug yourself in every single time you have a low, then that means for the times where you miss, you won't feel as bad because you won't you won't plug in every single time. Nobody does. Nobody does. It's hard to remember to do it every single time, but this is a start and you probably can work your way up to staying plugged in where you're never unplugged. And then your life now becomes a prayer. Your whole life is a prayer because you have remained plugged in for so long and it was second nature every time to go to God or whomever and plug yourself in. So once you get used to that, um, man, it's like riding on a cloud. (laughs) It's like riding on a cloud. And it is hard. It is hard in the beginning. It is so hard in the beginning. But um, we learn to take our power back. We learn to take our power from whatever it was that we thought fulfilled our happiness or whatever it was that we thought um, kept us content, those things are a misconception because if you give your power of contentment or happiness to 
an object or materials or a person, those will let you down every time. And so you have to be able to realize that inside of you is where all of that is. Inside of you and then your connection to your higher source. Your connection to your higher source, which is inside of you, and being able to do that, being able to connect to your higher source, um, oh man, like it, you, you start to lose the need to rely upon outside sources, you know, you, you don't necessarily need it anymore. Um, It's nice to have as a supplement. No. (laughs) Supplement. That's funny. But um, you guys, there is no better feeling. There is nothing more blissful than being able to be content alone by yourself and connecting with the plethora of of everything that comes along with that higher source, you know? So it's not always just, I mean, you know, it's how you choose to look at it. It it depends on you. Me, you know, I don't just, it's not just only just God to me. There's more. And I choose to um, communicate. I choose to communicate. I don't feel like somebody is cutting off my communication, with everybody else that I can communicate with. I don't give anyone that power to do that. I choose to communicate who, with who I want to communicate with. And so that means that, you know, God, angels, um, souls who have passed on from this life. So, you know, you're never really alone if you open up your eyes and really see what all is actually around and about you. A lot of you call them ancestors. And if you, if I hear the word ancestor coming out of your mouth, I hope that means that you realize and recognize that they truly are around you. I hope that's what that means when you say ancestors. So anyways, um, yeah. I just wanted to, I just wanted to let you sisters know that you are not alone and this can be done. And if you ever need encouragement, if there's ever anything I can share with you, especially by way of my own experiences that I had, you know, I'll be more than willing to share. You always got to check and know your resources when it comes to Um, you know, the help that's available to women in need. Um, You know, if it if that is the case with you, and if not, you know, you just make sure that you don't do this alone. Because, you know, being alone can be hard when you feel that low. And, you know, sometimes you just need somebody to kind of point you in the right direction until you feel comfortable on your own with God or whomever, you know? So uh, maybe I can use this for YouTube so I don't have to be trying to do a video on Wednesday morning because I will be leaving. That's going to be too much work, too much to do. So, yeah. All right, you guys. I hope that you have a wonderful Wednesday. I love you guys.